Shout out to Chicago. Guess what Chicago is doing, y'all? If you didn't know, shout out to anyone that lives in Chicago. Applications now open for City's $500 per month guaranteed basic income program. Yay! So look, we got ATL. We got uh, San Diego, I believe. Definitely California. Now we got Chicago. All this money that they throwing at people. Here you go, here you go, here you go. Here you go, here you go, here you go. For what? Just because I'm here? Just because I'm around? Let's see what's going on with this mess, y'all. New at four, you can now apply for a new city program where qualified families receive an extra $500 a month. It's all meant to increase economic stability in neighborhoods. Our Asal Razai joins us live now to watch. Increase economic stability in neighborhoods. That's a good way. That was a nice way for that white lady to say the community. Aww, okay. Come on now. You think they're going to put this in the neighborhood where Kim Kardashian is, where um, Seth Curry Steph Curry, child. Steph Curry lives where he said, uh-uh, I don't want them in the back of my yard. Mm -mm. Send them over there. Don't put them over here near me. Mm -mm. Walk us through this application process. Yeah, Marie, Jim, 5,000 families will get a chance to get $500 for every month of an entire year. It's a part of Chicago's recovery plan to help communities bounce back from the pandemic. More financial help is on the way to those hit hardest by COVID-19. City leaders say Chicago's Resilient Communities Pilot Program is one of the largest monthly cash assistance programs in the country. Commissioner Brandy Knazzi with the Department of Family and Support Services. Ah, uh, of course she's black. Shout out to her. No tea, no shade. I don't know nothing about her. I don't know nothing about nothing, all right? All I know is DOD is right. She meant the black community. The black community, oh, of course, of course, you know, to help, you know, from COVID, we're going to help y'all. We just going to give you $500 a month for a year. Cha, go ahead. Here you go. All you got to do is put your name on this paper. I'm pretty sure it'll work the same as the rest. We'll just give it to you. We won't ask for any proof of what you did with it. We won't give you any type of uh, financial stability. We won't do this. We won't do that. We'll just give you the money. You'll be happy and you'll vote us all back in because you'll be apathetic. And I'll be good in the hood because I'll be back in my cushy job living in my neighborhood, nowhere near you. And my kids be over here in a private school. But y'all can stay over there pretending that we're doing something for you. No one has any questions, more government handouts, more money tossed at people that have no financial literacy at all. None. But we're going to keep just tossing money out. Here you go. Here you go, girl. Here you go. Here you go, girl. Here you go. All right. Let's see. Maybe I'm wrong. Y'all. I could be wrong. This says there is a true need for this program. When you think about prior to COVID, 44% of employed Chicagoans could not make their basic needs met. And so that means that they could not afford things like um, their rent, clothing, utilities, food. In order to apply, you must live in the city of Chicago. Applicants have to be over 18 years old and must live at or 250% below the federal poverty level. Now, listen, 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 listen. Let me go ahead and, and just take a second to say, if you want to help people that are at 250% or below of the poverty level, then why are you not giving them some damn training? Why aren't you trying to get a corporation, give the money to a corporation that will bring them in and that will have them go ahead and learn a job, get a job, make, make, I don't know. Uh, I don't know y'all $20 an hour. I don't know. So then if they make $20 an hour, they work 40 hours a week. What is that? 20, 40, is that 800? 20, 40, wait, 40, 20, eight, child, eight hundred dollars a week times four is twenty four hundred. And then they can have some job skill. They can move on up. They can get more yada, yada, yada. Say while they're doing this for a year that you continue to receive all the benefits that you get. Would that not make more sense? These people are out here acting like they doing something for these people. These people think that they doing something. They just like it because it's for the free and it's for money and they can do whatever they want. And all it is, is continuing to hold people back. Now, whoever can get mad, sad, glad, I don't give a damn. I know what I'm talking about. This is doing nothing but keeping people down. It does not help at all.
it helps the economy. Let, let, let me take a step back. It helps the economy. Definitely help the economy. Shout out to Michael Jordan, who about to get even more this 2023 than he did 2022. He about to double what he got this past year with all these places that is just giving money out to people who are poor, who are poverty level. I get it. I understand. Help the people. I get it. I get it. I get it. But if people already don't know how to handle themselves with the bit that they have, you think giving them more is going to make the situation better? Giving absolutely nothing to these people in return to help them for future. Teaching them nothing except for the government will be here to help you and give you more money whenever you need it. And they're just going to be like, oh, see, it's not that bad. See, it's not that bad. Not recognizing and realizing that you might need that $500 for the hotel after you get evicted or because you can't find a place to take your section eight because landlords ain't taking that no more. You're going to be losing out on your food stamps because they're not going to give up meat and crab legs and tuna fish and all that type stuff. All you can get basically is juicy juice. Understanding that it's only in one state, but so was the um, $850 that they gave to Atlanta initially. That was only in that state. And now we see it's going here, it's going here, and it's probably in other places that I don't even know yet, or we don't even know yet. This is not helping. This is not helpful. Why is it that they just never, ever, ever, these these councilmen, these these officials, the governors, the all these people never say, Let's partner with a company that needs some entry level job done and give them some job skills so that they can move forward for the future. I guess that just makes too much daggone sense. Shout out to Salma Haywood in the building. Thank you so much for the support. My co-hostess. Hi, Michonne. Thanks for keeping me sane. It's really emotional for me out here. Can't wait to be back. Oh, people are so lucky in the U.S. They really don't know. No, they don't. I agree with you. But this story right here, I just, mm, mm, mm. this this is crazy. And I'm just seeing it real time. We're looking at it real time. I just saw it before I um I came on the air. Or somebody sent it to me. Whoever whoever sent it to me, shout out to you. Appreciate you. Um, Sorry, y'all. I just saw something come up. Whoops. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, shout out to Lucky for the 10 on Venmo. Sorry, I'm late, Miss Michonne. Already heating up. The foolishness keeps coming. You already know. Appreciate you. Thank you so much for the support. I had to go ahead and get this to open back up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Let's go ahead and see what else they got to say. That, for example, is about $57,500 for a household of three. $31.5 million will go towards the program. The city says the direct cash method is more efficient with helping people be able to use the money freely. We've seen. We know they're going to be using it freely. What are they going to be using it for? Jordan's. Them, them red boots that look like uh, upside down AirPods or something, um, food, uh, a travel, child. They're going to be fighting in the airport at the spirit counter, uh, drugs. Uh, you think they're going to be uh, doing something for the kids? For some reason, I don't think so. I could be wrong. Maybe buying GUNs through a straw purchase or something. Ridiculous. I can't. I can't. And this is a black old woman. And she really is saying this stuff and thinking that this is a good thing. She is really saying this like this is a good thing. They can use it for whatever they want. Um, okay, ma'am, whatever you say. Other studies that have been done in 2020 and 21 that have shown that when you inject cash into a family's household, there are a number of things that happen. Some studies have shown that brain health for babies have improved as well as child um, poverty rates have declined as well as unemployment rates in households. The program hopes to reach those. I'm going to need her to cite her sources because I would like to know where the hell she got that from because I don't believe it. She, somebody lying. I ain't saying who. I'm just saying somebody lying. Experiencing homelessness, people who are undocumented residents, veterans, and low income families. The money will come from federal COVID dollars. You can go to our website, cbschicago.com, to see where and how you can apply. Applicants will be placed into a lottery in May, and the winners will be chosen after that. So far, already over 61,000 applicants have submitted their applications. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? You know what? I'm not sure. Let me rewind it before I say anything. Let me rewind and let her say that one more again. 
undocumented residents, veterans, those experiencing homelessness, people who are undocumented residents, veterans, and low-income families. Sounds like yes. Sounds like yes. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, so that's what I was going to say before. They already, it's interesting to me, y'all. Yo, listen to me. Listen to me. You synced it. You've been here long enough. You know, daggone well, you didn't sync it. When they open up the Section 8 uh, roster, I shall call it, interesting how so many people know it and show up. They got to shut it down. There's a line. They bum rushing. They there overnight. They there for that, right? Just to put their name down, right? But these are the same people. Yes, I'm telling it like a T.I. is that won't show up for their daggone kids in the daggone school, won't sit up there and take and read to them buy a book, follow their studies, get them out of poverty, work on doing something to better their lives, but then turn around and blame the schools. The schools need to do better. All they do is um, babysit kids for eight hours a day. They don't do nothing. It's not fair. How my kid get a 0.13 grade point average and now they want to hold him back, like really and actually saying these words out of their mouths. <clears throat> but somehow, some way they can know, they know that there is a program open to give out free money. Interesting how that travels through the community so quickly that they have 61,000 people that have already signed up. 61,000 people, and even if they do 10,000 people, that's a lot of damn people that happen to know that there's some money coming for free. Isn't that interesting? This is why I can't have any empathy and sympathy, okay? Because what you want to know, you going to know. And what you don't care about, you ain't looking into. What you don't care about, meaning your kids, their education, their future, the gangs, the, the homelessness, the poverty, the eviction, the food stamps, all that. You that's right in your face. You don't do nothing about that. But as soon as Section 8 opens up, we over here. Hey, I'm in line. Don't butt in front of me. Don't get don't give me a hard time. If I don't try, then I'll never know if I win or not. Right? And then somehow, some way, this program that you all that all 61,000 people for now, as of when this came out. Oh, this is an old thing. So this is a nine months old, but still 61,000 people had signed up at this point. 61,000 people. Yo, to get something for the free. Don't tell me that these politicians and officials don't know what the effort is that they doing. They absolutely know what they doing. And the sad part is, but again, I can't have any empathy and sympathy is that mainly black people, shout out to the Negroes, are falling for it hook, line, and sinker. Falling for it hook, line, and sinker. Oh, we're just going to infuse some cash. It's going to make the br baby's brain better. Girl, shut up. Cite your source because I don't believe it at all. I will look into it. But we don't want to do anything to better ourselves. That is going to help the daggone economy. That's what it's going to do. But then turn around and complain about the fact that eggs is $10 and gas is $4 and this, that, and the third is this much. And remember the girl from yesterday? All Everything has increased, but wages have not. She's a part of the problem, too. Wages have not. No one is going to just give you money. I was wrong, because clearly they are, right? <laughs> clearly they are right here. But you got to be 250% and lower of the poverty level. Basically, you got to be poor. Here you go. Here you go. We got you. We got you. As long as you got us when the time comes. Even though most of them people don't even vote. Let's call a spade a spade. Most of those people don't even vote. 